So I decided to start with the year 2011 because this was the year or the time frame in which I felt my relaxed hair started to take a turn for the worse. At this point, it's a little bit past, I wanna say collarbone length. It was that length for a very long time. And in my opinion, I thought everything was good. I liked how my hair looked at this point, but mm, later that year, as you can see, my hair is starting to look really damaged and extremely broken off. Oh my gosh, I think this, I dyed it with like peroxide at the top. I was on some other stuff, y'all. Boom, later on that year, I just kept making it worse. I decided to dye my hair fire engine red. And see, y'all thought I was playing when I said my hair was fried, dyed, and laid to the side. But no, I was out here risking it all. Here we are in 2014. For some reason, I decided to, one, obviously I, I dyed my hair back black from the red, but then I got bored with that and decided to give myself bleached blonde strands and streaks in my hair. And this was actually the year that I started to transition because my hair was breaking off so badly from that coloring. Here I am, dyeing my hair black again because I feel like if you dye your hair black, it fixes all of your problems. But it doesn't. Quite obviously in this picture, my ends are straggly. This is attempted braid out, but whatever. 2016, I'm at my first duty station. This is my first time going out and I'm wearing my natural hair thinking I'm looking good. If I would have never seen this picture, I probably would not have known that my hair looked this bad. It was so undefined, so dry. And look at those ends. Oh my gosh. I want to just hop in the picture and like drag me out by my hair because who let me do that? This was a couple of days after that picture was taken because you know i had to take action i couldn't be walking around here looking like that anymore so i straightened my hair and i said i'm cutting it even i'm gonna make it even kind of what i thought was you know the remainder of my relaxed hair which is why in a previous video of mine i, I told you guys that i had only been natural since 2016 because this was when i considered myself fully natural so here we are washed my hair after I had strained it um, and my curls look better you know they look better they look healthier but I'm at the point where I don't know much about my hair I'm not sure about porosity moisture or anything I'm struggling here this was a picture that I was trying to do a wash and go but I was very much deceived by the name because it wasn't as simple as washing my hair and going. And <laughs> I had to figure that out. I'm struggling trying to figure out what products to use to get my curls to pop. So I came across this girl that used to do finger coils. And I said, hmm, I think I'll be trying this style because obviously this wash and go thing is not meant for me. So I started doing finger coils whenever I would be going on like a uh, weekend vacation, like visiting different countries, whatever the case I was doing and I didn't want to deal with my hair. This was definitely my go-to. 2017, I'm gaining a little bit more definition, you know, trying to get my curls under control here. Pretty sure it was in a half up, half down style because I felt like that was easier to manage at the time. And then something miraculous happened in 2018. I came across the perfect hair care regimen, the perfect products for my hair at the time. I was, I understood what my hair needed and it was on the up and up from there, y'all. Look, another successful wash and go. This was a length check um, picture. For my journey to waist length and yes i needed my ends trimmed in this picture but never mind that and boom here we are august of 2020 me sticking to the same regimen that i've had tweaking it just a bit but the same regimen from 2018 that has gotten me to this length 